Good Monday. I'm Malia. Welcome to Monday Morning Jolt. Let's get started. Welcome back. With us here today is Alex Babich, also known as the Mad Russian. Yep. <laughs> but he's not from Russia. I'm from Ukraine. Right? Ukraine. There's a big difference. There is a difference, yes. Language and culture, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so he is here today because he's one of the most uh, popular people in, the, in Fort Wayne for mushroom hunting. Mm -hmm. Probably is the most popular person in Fort Wayne for mushroom hunting, right? Uh, I, you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> and then he won the world championship mm -hmm. of mushroom hunting in Chicago. It was a it was a national moral hunting championship uh, held in Illinois. Mm -hmm. yep. What part of Illinois? Uh, Henry, Illinois. It's just the center part of Illinois. Mm -hmm. um, mushroom hunting is just a passion for many people. For me, it started back in Ukraine, um, and I've been hunting all my life. You know, but we came to U.S. Uh, after Chernobyl uh, in '91. And I settled in Fort Wayne and I didn't hunt any mushrooms um, in Fort Wayne area for about 10 years. And then when I worked at the factory, some of the guys were like, I can't believe you never had morel mushroom. And they took me out, showed me a little bit. And, um, you know, the hunt for it, there's just so many, there's millions of people do it. It's just uh, completely, uh, once I tasted, you know, first morel, I just, my taste buds exploded and I had to learn more about it. So um, years down the road, I just, you know, I got actually this mushroom stick that I brought to show you. This is the stick that I use. I, I hunt uh, 12 states. I got different mushroom spots in 12 states. And mm -hmm. uh, how many pounds of morels I find, I would burn at the end of the year, you know. And morels sell on average for $40, $45 a pound. So, um, so it's, you know, some people do it just to eat. Some people do it to make a little bit of money. But uh, most people are just addicted to the hunt itself. Like if anybody would ask me, would you hunt or eat morels? I would give up eating morels. I would hunt them, you know, because it's just so addictive. It's something like like hunting treasure. You have all these spots across the U.S. and you just go and can't wait to see where the next mother load is. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so what 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 is the difference between morel mushrooms and like other mushrooms? Morel mushroom actually has one of the best flavors in the world. It tastes kind of like filet mignon. It's really rich and nutty. That's why chefs from all over the world uh, would love to get their hands on morels. Um, Morel is one of those mushrooms that have, uh, haven't been successfully artificially grown. Uh, a few, quite a few mushroom farms have been bankrupt trying to do it because it's a multi-billion dollar industry. If you can grow morel mushrooms, it's, it's wanted everywhere. Um, there's an estimate of 50 million mushroom hunters across the world, and this is one of the top mushrooms people hunt for. So um, we actually got a documentary on morel mushroom hunting. This is it I brought, brought to, show, to show to you guys. Um, it's Moral Mushroom Hunting with National Moral Mushroom Champion Alex Babbage and it's just got secrets, tips, recipes. Uh, you can find it on our website, mushroomgear.com. Uh, because of Moral Mushroom Hunting, I've been featured in about 15 different newspapers, magazines. Um, this one of them, yep, that I brought. <laughs> yep, I've been on Travel Channel, uh, Fort Wayne News. Uh, every year we go live on the outdoor national radio uh, because of Morales. But yeah, it's something that has started as a just a hobby and exploded into passion and now now it's an obsession you know and <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to do <laughs> <laughs> but but you do other things besides the mushrooms too right yeah i actually worked uh well i worked at a factory guardian up and over making windshields uh, for gm and chrysler and i worked there for 11 years and uh i got laid off i didn't have enough time to stay uh, because the automotive industry just went downhill um, you know, that's what, but I'm from, you know, old USSR, you know, I'm, I'm, I will work hard and I'll never quit, you know, I was content, uh, but this had pushed me out and forced me to start my own business. So I started a landscape company called Morel Mushroom Landscaping, where I do mowing, landscape and plowing, um, which is perfect. I'm self-employed. I can work around my own schedule with the family and, uh, I can mushroom hunt as much as I, you know, now the mushroom thing has completely taken off for us. Um, so it's just getting bigger and bigger. So we just got sponsored by Merrill, which is an outdoor company. Uh, so they sent me free gear just for saying I wear Merrill while I mushroom hunt, which I do. <laughs> and you have them right now, right? I do. Right there, yep. <laughs> yeah. right there, right there yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, Alex, can you tell us why Mondays are great? Uh, being self-employed, you know, every all the days are mesh in, I'll be honest with you, but uh, yeah, um, Mondays, um, Mondays are great because everybody goes to work and I go into the woods and there's nobody there. <laughs> For me, that's why. <laughs> For me, that's why. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> a little long time. Yeah, a long time, yep. And what do you do to kickstart your Monday? 
Uh, coffee. My house runs on coffee. We've got a two-year-old and uh, she just never sleeps. She's, she's been taking a lot of fish oil as a, as a kid and she's just learning everything. She hardly ever sleeps. But uh, coffee, coffee, coffee in our house. And recently we've been juicing a lot of things. That's one of the best things, I guess, is uh, we, we bought this Nutribullet juicer. All the fruits, vegetables, kale, all kinds of stuff. Just and you got a smoothie. You drink it with right after coffee, and I'm good to go. <laughs> that sounds good. So I want to ask you, Alex, this question mm -hmm. because you're always smiling. Yeah. You're always in a happy mood, right? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm kind of wondering myself. It's the mushrooms. It's the mushrooms. At least, at least. Uh, <laughs> Uh, at least tell our audience like how they can get to that point. You know, I'm just so blessed um, to be able to. Uh, that's the main thing is not to take anything for granted. Um, you know, I'm from a country where, you know, most of your time of the day went on after work. People stood in lines for hours and hours to buy food to bring home to feed the family. Uh, you know, and over here in the U.S you stand in line with four people in front of you at Walmart and you get mad, you know, not me personally, but I've seen people do it, you know, and it's just, just don't take anything for granted, you know, I mean, there's parts in the world that people are just would absolutely love the very worst of what, what people in America have, so that's just the main thing, you know, I mean, it's just stay humble and don't take nothing for granted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have an adage by which you live your life by? Um... I would say, be up to. I'm, I'm a biggest, probably the biggest optimist you'll ever meet. Um, that's the attitude that I've always had. Um, even the factory, I worked in a 1400 degree furnace for 11 years, uh, baking windshields with no mm -hmm. windows, and you know, going into that environment day in day out, every single day, and smile and be positive. You know, people just thought I was crazy, but <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta be you gotta be optimistic. I mean, that's yeah. I don't know. To me, that's just the thing. I guess. <laughs> you do. I like that. So, uh, if you were to have a superpower, what would that be? I would uh, probably. That's a that's a unique question there. Hit me with a curveball. <laughs> I, <would, laughs> I would probably, no, this is going to be a weird answer, but I would probably line, line everything up to where I could mushroom hunt me and the family for the rest of my life. So mm -hmm. that's basically what I would do because it's my biggest passion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you tell us something about you that would surprise people who think they know you? Um, I got three pounds of hair on my back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Something surprising. Um, uh, did you say the head or the back? <laughs> it's starting to migrate. <laughs> um, I have been bitten by a squirrel while mushroom hunting. Um, they really come up to you? No, I ran that one over by a vehicle accident. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I really, squirrels always run. Yeah. No, I pancaked the back of it and I picked it up feeling bad for it. I had no idea that the front could you know, bite, bite into my finger that, that bad. <laughs> it happened. He took the yeah. revenge. He's yeah. like, he's trying to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you. No, but yeah. yeah, no, mushroom hunting, I mean, it's such a, to me, I mean, it's a passion, and for many, it is a passion. But, you know, I have, I came across bears, I almost got run over by elk, I've been bitten by a squirrel by brown recluse, uh, I've been, I've been chased by wolves and wild boar. Um, you know, there is a few things involved. You know, but it's all fun. I just, I still can't wait to get into the woods in spring and try to find the next mother load. So, mm -hmm. yep. And you chase. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so Alex, the most important thing is like, how do people get hold of you? What's the website? What's the phone number? Uh, it's mushroomgear.com. You can get a hold of us uh, through the website. Uh, phone number 260-705-6562, which is also on the website. So I guess the easiest way is just remember the website. It's mushroomgear.com. We have a few things that we posted uh, on YouTube. Um, planning to use YouTube more now. Um, now that we have our video out. So. But uh, yeah, we've got some big, big things up in the works for this spring and uh, I'm excited to see what happens. So. <laughs> so we'd like to thank Alex for coming and joining us today. Thank you. Thank we'd you like to much. thank you, the audience, for watching. We are recording at the Founders, downtown Fort Wayne. 
This is Monday Morning Joke. Use it.